I'm Shelley from Miami Physiotherapy and Lakelands Physiotherapy. We see a lot of people with acute low back pain and I'm going to talk about disc injuries today. Most people have heard about a slip disc or a disc bulge. Technically a disc can't slip. It can't go anywhere because it's firmly attached to the vertical, the vertebral bones. So what happens in a disc bulge? The disc is made up of fibrotic material that is also orientated around like a ring as well as being vertical and diagonal. Inside the fibrotic outer ring, which is called the annulus fibrosus, there is a softer centre called the nucleus pulposus. Discs degenerate due to age, overloading and degenerative disc disease. The central soft section becomes firmer and it can't cope with the loads. So the fibrotic ring takes more of a load and then it starts to fail under the added pressure. Then tears develop, which we call fissures, in the outer ring, and this can cause a bulge. It's like a weakened car tire. The bulge can cause pain itself, but the outer fires remain intact and so normally resolves with physiotherapy treatment conservatively. If the outer fibres of the annulus fibrosus tear, then the softer centre, the nucleus pulposus, can squeeze out and this is called a disc herniation. The disc material can physically compress the exiting nerves that come out between the spinal levels or the chemical substances that leak out from the soft centre can cause inflammation. Both will result in severe local pain and spasm and there's also the possibility of referred pain following the nerve pathway. The majority of disc herniations, 95% actually, occur in the lower back in what we call the lumbar region, with most of them occurring at L4 or 5 or L5 S1. Mostly the herniation is posterior or lateral, which is where the fibrotic ring is at its thinnest and it's not supported by the anterior longitudinal ligament, which is at the front part of the disc. People suffering with a lumbar disc herniation or a bulge will often report localised severe back pain in the low back, sometimes into the glute or the buttock region, and mostly to one side. Sometimes if the nerve is irritated, the pain will also be felt down the leg on that side, and the person will often have difficulty standing straight and bending forward will be painful and restricted. The good news is that physiotherapy can help both in the acute phase to settle your pain and regain your back movement, and also in the long term. The correct exercise program can reduce your rate of recurrence from 80% to down below 20%. So if you know someone that might have a disc injury and this information might help them out, like this video and share it with your friends. If you think you may have a disc injury and you would like to us to see if we can help, please give us a call.